renaissance in Portugal, including a turnaround in the economy and a growing startup scene, has caught the eye of investor Kevin Ho. As part of his company's 15 million euro investment in Portugal's largest media group, Global Media, he looks to capitalize on the talents available and invest further in coming years. Two years ago, when I when I made my first trip to Portugal after many years, I didn't realize the country has changed. The economy is starting to grow. People are, are, more, are more energetic. The city is more robust. The young generations are people with very good mindset, innovative. These are the people that we need. And these are the environment that we, when we, when we decide to invest, we look at countries, we look at cities with prospects. So we, we, we enjoyed the Portugal environment. While global media currently offers traditional media products, Mr. Ho aims to revamp these offerings, as well as building up new ones. Media is a lot of things. It doesn't stick to just newspaper, magazines, or radio. Uh, we will have some new products coming out. We have some some under, the, under our our, um, our discussion, but things will come. One of my new projects for global media. We will have a startups in inside global media. Um, we will utilize the new talents in Portugal, um, and then we will utilize um, their minds, and and then we will work out something that will help the whole group to go into future. And every business needs a home, one that Mr. Ho already has planned. I've met with the president of Gaia. Um, there, are, there are, as you know, there are a lot of warehouses, the old warehouses for red wines. We are turning one of them, they, they, we are cooperating into a big startup. It's the government over there, the Gaia mayor wants to build up things other than tourism. So in terms of startup, new technologies, um, bring new, new people, new thinking into projects and then we, we work on these projects. We try to grow these projects into a sustainable real business um, and that takes time and that takes a lot of expertise. We have the money. It comes from the ideas. We'll wait until a year or two when, when these people grow, when, when these different projects comes up and we will determine which is worth investing, which is worth building, then we'll do it. In order to build up this expertise, Mr. Ho plans to leverage his startup incubation centers in China, setting up exchange programs so parties on both sides can gain. Nowadays, what I wanted to do is we'll bring my talents in Portugal into China, because the advancement in China these days is something worth us copying. We should learn from what China has now and then bring it back to Europe, bring it back to Portuguese speaking countries, bring it back to Portugal. And while startups are attractive and new, some other more traditional investments are still on the table. We have two real estate projects that we are looking in. Um, very, very promising. Um, Portugal, um, we've all, of course, we've already, uh, the prices have gone up a bit, but the rental yield is still there. So, so for long term investment, it's still a, a good place to do. An attractive market for investment which could lead to more opportunities in Europe and Portuguese-speaking countries, says the entrepreneur.